Hello Travelers, this is Tara at Hidden Lotus Tarot and I uh, am here with the Pisces September 2015 general reading. Um, if this does not resonate with you then please check your moon and rising sign. I have posted the other 11 videos. Um, if you don't know your moon and rising sign you will need your date of birth, the month, day and year. The location where you were born, you know, the city, the town, the state, the country, and you're going to need your exact birth time. Uh, if you have that information, there are free moon sign, rising sign calculators on the web. You just plug that information in and it'll, you know, spit out your moon and rising sign. Um, I have already pre shuffled the cards. Uh, again, this is going to be a general reading for Pisces for September 2015. I'm going to shuffle a bit more and then we're going to get started with the reading. Cards are jumping all over the place. Oh, let's see what that means. All right, let's cut the cut the cards. Didn't cut them quite evenly, but I'm going to go with the third deck, and then we're going to take a look and see what's on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what is coming in, could possibly be coming in for Pisces for the month of uh, September 2015. We have the Hierophant in the center of the reading, which I think is kind of apropos for Pisces, and I'll explain why. Ah, the King of Cups is crossing you. Wow, that's interesting. Now, this isn't necessarily the card for Pisces, but it is a water sign, so we're going to say that that's you. Wow, the King of Pentacles underwriting. That's an earth sign. Judgment in the near past. <clears throat> the Knight of Swords. Well, dang, that's a third person in the picture. At the top of the reading. The World card in the near future. Best card of the deck. Really it is. I love when that card comes up. The Sun. Not bad, not bad. The Seven of Cups. And the environment. <clears throat> oh my goodness. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Hopes and Fears. Let's see what the last card is. Wow. The Star card. Oh wow. Okay. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. No way. Temperance. So let's see. That's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcana cards. Now, I think that's significant, not just because of the number of cards, uh, and we know that seven is supposedly a lucky number, but Pisces is supposed to be the most karmic sign of the zodiac. It's the oldest sign of the zodiac, which means those souls have been here before. And after they pass away from this existence and they come back, they will be come back as, you know, like an Aries that's going to start their cycle all over again. Um, I think I've explained in previous videos that uh, the major arcana cards are your spiritual journey. Um, this looks like a hell of a ride for you, Pisces. Really, it does. Um, and I'm really pleased for you. Um, but these are major arcana cards are typically forces that are beyond your control. Um, this is an exciting, exciting uh, reading for me. Hang on, I want to check something right quick before I get into the reading. I just want to be certain about something. Um, Aha. Okay. In the center of the reading, we have the Hierophant. Now, this card represents the earth sign of Taurus. Okay. The Hierophant is all about um, institutions, uh, schools, 
hierarchies, traditions. It's a card pretty much of doing the right thing. It is also a teacher. You can see that that guy is sitting up uh, on a throne and he's got two people down below him that he's, you know, imparting some wisdom or knowledge to. Uh, to me, this card always represents uh, doing the right thing doing the right thing okay I can't explain it any better than that but this it always represents doing the right thing I think that the Hierophant and I'm reading him in a positive aspect this is someone who's a teacher like a guru um, who is in your life right now who um, is perhaps showing you the way in which he's aiding you in learning any lessons that you need to learn while you're on this journey whatever this is that you're going through. I don't even know what it is yet, so let's just take a look, okay? Um, there are two, three cup cards. So I'm going to say that this is related to relationship, okay? I'm not going to say romance, but we're just going to say it's a relationship reading. What is crossing you is this King of Cups. Um, and it's odd that these are, these are all males. There's one, two, three, four males in the, uh, reading and there are two women. Um, so I would think that if you are a male, this is someone in your life that you, uh, perhaps have a good relationship with someone that you can talk to about anything and he gives you good advice. Okay. Uh, someone you look up to. If you're a male Pisces, but you're crossing him for some reason. There's something going on in, in with this relationship. But I don't think that it's anything negative because I'm not getting... This is really the only negative card, and it's not that negative, along with this card. And that's not that negative. It depends on the context. So we're going to see how, how that Knight of Swords comes into play. Um, if you are a female Pisces, this is a male Taurus in your life. Oops. This is you, but it could also be another water sign male that's crossing you. So perhaps there is a water sign male that is coming into the picture um, along with this Hierophant person. Um, underwriting the reading is also another male. And these are all male energies. That's really how it's coming across. I'm, I'm not reading this as a female Pisces. I'm reading it as a male water sign. And then you have this guy who is an earth sign. Um, he's going to be your, uh, I can't even think, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn male. Um, stability, um, dependability, uh, Financially stable, good advice. You've got two of the, actually all three of these people in their positive aspects um, give good advice. That's, that's, you know, and that's great if you've got those kind of people around you. The King of Cups represents emotional security, um, love, kindness, compassion, which goes right along with you Pisces. I dated a Pisces once, the most compassionate people. I just got kind of sick of her, really, but <laughs> he's really one of the most beautiful people I've ever met, really. And we do keep in touch with each other. He's a great friend. So I just didn't understand. So you got these three people, these three guys coming in. Now, there looks to me like in the past, you have been either alerted to something about one of these three and actually there's a fourth guy in the picture um, if this is you a female Pisces okay there's three guys in the picture it could even be four um, if you are a male Pisces I'm seeing this as maybe like a group of people a group of friends or there's this one person maybe there's this other person and then this Knight of Swords is coming in just as an energy okay just as an energy um, this is the judgment card, and this card is about uh, coming to grips or 
coming to grips is not the right phrase, but coming to grips with your higher self. Okay, being called to getting hearing the call, heeding the call to a, a, a higher vibration. Um, trying to access your higher self. What you should do now, taking that this has come out, this is in the near past. So perhaps there's a decision that you made. Uh, if this situation has not occurred, because we're looking back two to three months, so it could just be coming in as well. Coupled with the Hierophant, um, this is definitely a karmic spiritual situation. Okay, this guy is is here to help you on your path, and there's some kind of calling or some type of realization or recognition that you're trying to that you either arrived at. Or you're about to come to okay um this knight of swords now if this is a person this is going to be an air sign person this is going to be your gemini um i don't even know i haven't done so many videos i don't even know where i'm at um your gemini is it libra and aquarius i think that's right don't quote me on that i'm kind of tired by now this is someone who is coming in quite suddenly um, with communications now if this is not a person this is some energy so maybe whatever this decision is or this call that you you got it came in quite suddenly if it hasn't come in yet it's going to come in very suddenly okay um, if this is a person coming in if this is a let's say romance relationship, maybe you're a single gal and you know you got four or five guys hanging around this is the guy I would be cautious of because this guy is direct. His communications can be very piercing um, and he will not let logic stand in the way of what he feels. If he feels he's right, he's going to do the logical thing. Okay. Doesn't make him a bad person. Just means that that's the way he is. Uh, if you don't want to get your feelings hurt, I kind of, you know, keep an eye on this character. Coming in to the near future, you have the world card. This is the end of a cycle, and you have a lot of stuff going on. But I don't see you in a bad place. I just see perhaps that you might have a little bit of confusion going on. And she is naked. Um, she's surrounded in the laurel wreath. To me, this card says everything is perfect just the way that it is. So, you know, if you feel like you should be rushed making this call, this judgment, you know, I don't think there really is a rush. Um, I think you should take your time and do that. Um, she is balanced, this woman. Uh, she feels at ease. She, in her situation, and she also feels at ease with herself. That's why she's naked. You know, it's hard to be naked with yourself, you know, because you get to see all your flaws. But if you notice, we've got Taurus the Bull. Can I get that right? Wait, wait, I can't even touch the card. There, wait, wait, okay. Taurus the bull. So we've just come out of Taurus. And you've got that guy. You've got the Leo. We've just come out of the sign of Leo. There isn't an air card in here. But we also have, where is it? There it is. The time of Scorpio over here, which is going to be coming up next. We've just moved into the time of Virgo. Um, we'll be going through Libra. And then next will come Scorpio, which we know, of course, is a water sign. Um, but this card right here says that no matter what is happening, because I really can't figure out what's happening. It's not telling me a whole lot. I think it's just that maybe it's there's three people. There's more than three people involved in this situation. I don't know, you know, if it's a love reading, if it's a, a group dynamic, if it's a work thing. I it's really not telling me a lot. Um, and sometimes you get those readings. So whatever the situation is, um, if this decision hasn't been made already, perhaps you're going to be alerted to that decision sometime between October and November. And then you see that culmination with the angel there, that's going to be the last. This is the last card of the major arcana before the cycle starts over again. You'll be starting at zero, the full card. Okay. Right now, the way you feel, I mean, you how much better can this get? It can't, it can't get any better than this. Dang, I wish I had got this reading for myself. So this is the sun card. Now this, oddly enough, 
is a fire sign. So remember I was showing you Leo the lion on this card? This is a fire sign, so it will represent an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. But this is how you feel. You feel um, energetic, alive, uh, happy, as if you can do anything, confident. Um, you know, this is a great card. I can't really say much else about it. You know, something new or something big is happening. You see that banner that the, the kid's holding there? Again, you got the naked person. So you got three naked people in this reading. <laughs> Look at this. There's three naked people. So, I mean, you are, even if you think your situation is kind of crappy, you're really feeling good about yourself. I, I think that's fantastic. But what I'm saying, again, you've got the, the banner going on here and here. And banners are a sign, uh, a heralding of something to come. Uh, at the end of a battle, the winner would raise his banner up. Let him, hey, you know, it's over. So this banner is signaling something, a change is happening. I mean, with all of these cards, and this is the very last one, and it's in the future position. So some kind of change is coming. And then, you know, on top of that, you got the flag, another banner, and you got a horn. So something is coming for you, Pisces, and it's going to be good. Okay? Now, you do have in the environment, perhaps you have so many choices in love or whatever is going on in your life right now that you just don't know what to do about it. So this is really the only card that I see that's going to give you trouble. And maybe this one, if it turns out to be this Knight of Swords, but I, I'm really feeling that this is just an energy coming in and not a person. I'm feeling it's just an energy. So there you are. You've got all of this romantic potential or maybe friendship potential or maybe business potential. Maybe these are business partners or something like that. You know, you making a decision about whether or not you want to join a firm or what have you or sign that contract. But you got maybe some, maybe you just graduated from college and you got all these job offers. Yeah. Okay. And you're not quite sure what's the best college for you. Well, this card is saying that, you know, take a moment to reflect before you make a big decision. Um, this is a card of fantasies. This is a card of daydreams. You know, you may be fantasizing about going to Florida State, known as the party, you know, college of the world, but that may not be the best thing for you. Um, so, you know, get a handle on your fantasies. Try to remain grounded and realistic in whatever choice it is that you need to make that's coming up. Um, I mean, this is absolutely astounding to me. I've never seen such beautiful beautiful um, major arcana cards all in one reading. It's it's astounding. Now, again, this is the repeated thing. This is the wheel of fortune. This is the law of karma. And we know that what comes up must come, you know, what goes up must come down. Come down. I can't even say it right, but I'm so excited by this reading. So if this is kind of making you feel down or it's kind of preventing you from moving on ahead forward, um, this card is in your hopes and fears. Don't look at if there's something maybe that is missing or you're not quite sure or whatever it is. It might be creating some doubt. I don't really see any doubt in this reading. I swear to God, I don't. Um, this card in your hopes and fears is telling you that uh, don't fear it because things always, the universe is always changing. Nothing is static in the universe. So you have to Push through the fear or the doubt if you have any. Make this your hope that whatever choice you're going to make, that it's the right choice. You're just going to have to be smart about it. Now, what I was saying about the repeating theme, again, you've got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and the angel. There's Scorpio, but see, this time, Scorpio, well, yeah, it's the phoenix. And this one, Scorpio is the eagle. Scorpio is known as actually three signs in one. It's a scorpion. It's an eagle, and then it's the phoenix rising from the ashes to regenerate. That's why I love Scorpios. Let's just say you can't kill them. So <laughs> um, this is about, this is, even though this is the last card in the deck, this is saying there's some type of culmination, some kind of rebirth, some kind of regeneration on its way. And it's going to put you in a higher place. Remember we talked about the higher calling, okay? To back that up, I mean, this is a 
beautiful reading. To back that up, you have the star card. <clears throat> okay? And I've been talking, I think, on every video about the Venus in retrograde. Now, it's interesting that this is a Venus card because, as, as you can see, there's several other stars around this. So why is it called the star and not the stars? Because there's more than one star there. This represents Venus, and Venus is in retrograde right now. Um, that can mean that past lovers can have come back, uh, past life connections that you've had with people. Um, you're being asked to review uh, those things that really are going to add value to your life. Not just the things that make you happy, but things that are going to add value to your life. You know, it's not always about the 3,000 square foot house and the Mercedes, you know, those things come and go. You're being asked to take a look at what is really most important to you. And perhaps this Venus retrograde cycle is working in such a way for you because, I mean, you know, you're, you're the karmic sign and you guys are so sensitive and you get hurt so easily and you get taken advantage of so much. Maybe this is the sign from the, from the cosmos that all of that pain and hurt and foolishness that you didn't put up with before can be put behind you. And this Venus retrograde has come along to have you really, really think. And I think you've arrived at a place where you know, some of you know exactly where it is that you want to go, what it is you want in your life, what it is that's going to make you happy. And it doesn't have to be another person because truly another person can't make you happy. I think if you are able to find that happiness within yourself, it's going to be like the most awesome thing ever. Okay? It's going to require balance. See, she's got one foot on the shore, one in the water. Again, that brings up the water thing. So this is really all about you, Pisces. It's not about this guy, and it's not about this guy, and it's not about this guy. If this is a guy, it's really all about you. And take that and run with it. Do you. That's what I'm saying. So. She's pouring water out of one pitcher onto the ground, and she's replenishing the with the other pitcher. She's replenishing the, the pool that she pulled the water from. So it's a cycle, perhaps, that you've been repeating in your relationships that you may be able to break right now. Um, you have plenty, plenty, plenty of support based upon these cards from the universe to do that. So don't fear if you've been, you know, getting with the wrong people, if it's been the wrong chick or the wrong guy repeatedly, you know, you want to come in, you want to save them. Oh my God, I love them, Pisces. Oh, I love them and my love should be... No, it's all about you, okay? So don't be afraid. Uh, work through it. Look at that. Temperance. You are on the right path. See that? See that sun way in the background. You still got a little ways to go. That's your goal. That's the end. You got a, you got a little ways to go, but I think you can do it. And if you you guys are the most intuitive sign of the zodiac, all the people with Pisces moons, uh, Christelle Martinet, Bonnie the Outlaw. There's several readers on YouTube that have Pisces moons. You know, very very intuitive. You Pisces are very intuitive. So you know, use that. It's a gift. Don't shy away from it. Use it. And if you're you met somebody and you like, oh man, this could be the one, but you're getting that funny little feeling in your stomach, or however you get your intuition alerts you to something, pay attention to it. That's the way you're gonna be able to break the cycle. It may be hard, but you can do it. Again, there's a theme of balance. See the water in the cups, the two cups, and you've got the angel telling you, you know, that hey, you're you're protected and you're safe while you you work through this. So I wouldn't fret about really anything I would rejoice I would go out I would you know have fun I would see what what's out there I mean this is I am absolutely astounded by this reading I have not seen anything like this um, let me move the cards around And see if I can get anything else out of this because this is a uh, ah no 
one. There's a new message. There's something that's bugging you about this earth sign person. That's how the cards came up when I laid them out together. I think indeed you're going to get some message after this, maybe during this Venus retrograde or right after we're also coming up on eclipse season. So um, I think it's going to be something that comes in suddenly. If this is a person coming in, if it's related to the Venus retrograde, perhaps it's a person from the past that's come in. Um, and he in the past for a reason, so remember that. Um, <laughs> um, this is you. Or if this is an earth sign, uh, this is the way this, I mean, a uh, water sign. So if this is another water sign that you're dealing with, um, right now this person is making you feel, perhaps it's just a, a way that you guys can relate on a spiritual level. Okay. I don't know too much water, but that's just me. Okay. And this guy right here, you know, this is this doing the right thing. Um, and learning something about yourself is going to get you to this place. Um, I can't think of... Huh. I'm actually going to take a picture after I finish this video because I have not seen a spread like this. Um, the time has come for things to move ahead. The wheel is turning. And before you get too happy, see now that I changed it, I can I can see this now. Take your time, don't rush. But you're on the right path. I don't even know if I should pull a stinking uh one of these cards. We're gonna do it anyway because I've done it for everybody else. Because that is absolutely now wait a minute. There's another message on the diagonal here. If this is a water sign person that you're dealing with, if this is another water sign person, I would keep my eye open for perhaps this person having some issues uh, with uh, addiction issues. It's on the diagonal. And maybe that's why this, it's on the diagonal with judgment, and that may be why you're having. If you're not feeling right about that person, that's that could be why. You may not see signs of it. You may sense it and don't realize that's what you're sensing. Be aware of that. It's on the diagonal. So be aware of that, okay? Um, and don't fall into the pattern of caretaking. You know, a person has to take care of themselves first. You can't do it for them. That's the lesson that they need to learn. That's not your lesson. All right, let's see here. Wow, that's just beautiful. I'm scared to even pull one of these cards. Let's see. Okay, so whatever this call is, whatever this decision is, this judgment, if it has to do with this water sign person, and it could even be yourself, and maybe you're trying to hide your addictions, to choose your battles, okay? And this is a swords card. So if it is that you have met another water sign person, and it could even be somebody in your family, really. You know, if there's somebody that you know that has some addiction issues, um, you cannot fight the fight for them. And the only thing that it's going to do is stress you out, um, bring you down, and it's going to distract you from all of the wonderful things that the universe is getting ready to give to you very soon. Um, I don't know how those gifts are going to play out. That is why you're being asked to pause and reflect a moment, stop and think, um, remain balanced, 
balanced, balanced. Um, even the, the, the thing with the two guys, he's, he's, he's seated between the two people. So whatever this is, if you move, move away from your path, one second, move away from your path. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. Somebody's calling. Hold on. Yes. No thanks. Not to be rude, it was the Jehovah's Witness, and of course they would come and interrupt this reading. So, <laughs> so sorry. I got nothing against them, but come on. Beating on the door like the police. So I was trying to say, <laughs> how funny is that? I'm trying to give you a good message, and I'm about to wrap it up. So this is about balance. You are on the right path. Just be wise about picking your battles, okay? That's how you're going to get here, all right? And I hope that this message helped you a lot. Um, if nothing else, you should be very happy about rejoicing uh, for some of the wonderful things that are coming your way, you know, soon. That's relative within the, within the uh, tarot, but soon. So hang in there, Pisces. I'm so happy that I was able to do this reading for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to do it. Um, if you think you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can hit me up at hiddenlotustarot at gmail.com. Um, and really, I got nothing else to say. So until next time, be good to yourselves and uh, namaste.